Today we're going to be working on computer power supply. Um, it's given to me by a colleague and he says he's opened it up and the fuse is blown. So let's just take the cover off and have a quick look. Disconnect the cooling fan. Another plug here for the PFC. You can remove the top. Okay, so just be aware that even when these power supplies are unplugged, these two capacitors here can hold the charge. And the, I can see the fuse is not just blown, the glass is completely smashed. Okay, so. Um, we're not going to do a too technical um, video here. I'm not a electrical engineer, but we're going to just do a few checks. Basically what we're looking for is a short circuited component. Re remove that component, replace that component, and maybe we'll get this power supply back on the road. It's not a very expensive one so we don't want to spend too much t money on parts or too much time okay so let's just keep this as simple as we can um, through the middle of the board you can see a separation okay so on the left hand side you've got your primary and here your secondary your output okay normally when the fuse blows we're looking for a problem on the primary okay um, keeping it simple basically uh, your power comes in it goes through a this black rectifier here so it changes the um, the power from AC to DC goes through these two capacitors here and then onto some MOSFETs here and basically what happens is the those MOSFETs will turn on and off they'll be switched and that will go through a transformer and that's how you get the the different voltages okay like I said, let's just keep this simple. So what we're looking for, if the fuse is blown, we're looking for a short circuit. Maybe either on the rectifier, uh, we could check across these caps here, or even these um, MOSFETs. They normally, they normally the ones to go. Um, they're switching high speeds. They overheat. They are on this aluminium heatsink here, but. Yeah, there's two, there's two there. He has the fuse completely disintegrated. Okay. Let's just do some quick continuity checks. So obviously across the, the caps, Okay, so we have a direct short on this cap. So obviously anything from, uh, everything's shorted. I mean, everything's gonna show short here. So the rectifier showing short, the cap's gonna show short. Obviously these diodes here, yeah, they're just, I mean, these MOSFETs here, everything's just gonna be showing short. Let's just see here, okay. everything is just showing short okay um 
I'm I reckon it's just it's these uh, it's these MOSFETs. Let's remove those and check it again. All right, let's just add some fresh solder here. That'll just add some leaded solder to the unleaded that it comes with, and that'll make it easier for it to come out. Um, we do have these two mounting points here on the heat sink. It's going to take quite a lot of heat to melt. That's why I'm using this quite a heavy soldering iron. like I had the wrong okay there we go let's just resolder those other Okay. So that device is definitely short. Oh. Okay, so both of these are shorted out. Let's just see what they are. Okay, here we go. So it's an N channel MOSFET. Thirty volts gate source. Uh, what are we looking at here? The drain current pulsed, fifty amps. Fifty amps. It's quite a lot. Okay. Uh, SLF one three N fifty C. So look here. These are already okay. Well, I don't I don't have I don't have those uh thirteen N fifty. Thirteen N fifties. I do have I do have I think it's an equivalent.
AOT, AOT F1350. Okay, hold on, let's have a look at the data sheet for that. Okay, so here's the ones that I do have. Okay, so it does actually look. Here's what we're interested in here. Does look like it's going to do the trick. That will do. Okay, I need I need two of those. These are brand new, so I'm not expecting them to have any shorts. Perfect.
Okay, so this was a light globe in series power cable. And power on. Light comes on, switches off. Shows no short circuit. If we short green and black, we should get fan spins. And we do. Okay, so it looks like everything's working okay. We'll chuck this in a test PC and um, check how it works but I think we found the problem and everything seems to be okay thanks for watching remember there's always a fix and we'll see you in the next one